Hey guys, welcome to the bar. Tonight we've got two Klein Leash. We're going to do a shootout, see which one you want to go buy when you go to the store. Game of Thrones or the normal 14? Let's find out. Hey guys, what's hey going guys. on? We got scotch tonight. We do have some scotch tonight. You know what? It's just you and me to talk. Who's the rest of the guys? And you know what's even better? One of these is Mark's. Oh, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Actually, he knows. He was. Yeah. He's loaning it to he, us tonight. There's no way we're getting scotch out of Mark's for, bar without him science. knowing about it. There's for alarms science. and probably lasers. Oh, yeah. and So tonight we've got two different scotches we're going to put head to head. Uh, we've reviewed both of these scotches. We have. Uh, we've got the Klein Leash 14 and we have the Game of Thrones series version. Uh, we're going to put them head to head and just kind of see what's similar, what's different. I can tell you right now that the Game of Thrones is slightly shorter. Uh, but, but we just kind of wanted to check them out and yeah. see what the differences were. Everybody's talking about this Game of Thrones series. It's been a long time since we've actually had this bottle. This was uh, earlier on, the, the normal one. Yeah, right? so. and, and we were lucky enough, uh, Mike brought us a bottle he over did. to, Thanks, to sample it. Thank you, Mike. Uh, so we're going to put them head to head and just kind of see what's up. Which one do you want to start with? Uh, I'm thinking we start with the normal, because we've had this one fairly recently. Okay. I want to say that this one is 50 point, 51.2, uh, and this one is 46 ABV. So okay. Uh, roughly the same price, I believe, uh, around 65 Now, that's retail for this guy if you yeah. can find it. It's crazy right now. But uh, the question really is, and the reason we're kind of doing these, are, you know, are they close? Are they the same liquid? Perhaps? Right. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to guess no, but we'll, let's find out. My whole point in this is this: the price on these Game of Thrones bottles has gotten stupid oh. in a hurry, right? So if you're actually buying it to actually just taste the scotch, you're interested in trying the scotch. Is this and this the same Drastic thing or, or close enough? Or are you missing out on something by not going to buy this Great Game of Thrones point. bottle? And, and to that point, for example, the Logable and 8 and the 9, which is the Game of Thrones, yep. that's a big difference. You should definitely buy that one. Yep. Is this one going to be the same? I have no idea. That's why we're doing this. All right. <laughs> so we're going to do the, the normal 14. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, bro. Really light. It's got some nice honey notes to it. A little floral. Yep. Nothing that stands out as, you know, it's definitely a lighter, sweeter style scotch. Definitely full of honey. Um, yeah. It's actually got a, got a pretty full-bodied nose considering it's it's all sweeter stuff. Not right. only when you get that sweet style. Um, and, and this is a coastal distillery. So North, northeast, I think. Yeah. So I mean, you're you're looking at that a little bit of that sea influence in there as well. Now this one uh, has kind of a cotton on the nose and a hint of Ooh. wood. Like that's better than I remember it. And it's been a while, granted, since I've had it, but um, it's got some nice spicy notes that I didn't get on the nose at all. Um, oh yeah. Right. That's spicy. Pepper, um, it's a little cinnamon sugar action going on there. It's not very sweet though. It's not as sweet as the nose makes it seem like it will be, it's because great. it's it's all that honey floral on the nose. But you taste it, and it's not. Hmm. It, it it smells like it's going to be cloyingly sweet, and it's not at all like that. Fairly malty too on the palate and the finish. A fairly long finish, maybe mild finish. Um, I really like that that spicy notes. That pepper is strong. That's the first one. I'm a, I think the next one probably. It better. doesn't go away. No. No. And honestly, it's got a really nice linger to it, um, especially for a, a lighter style scotch, something that's not peated. I'm still tasting that last sip. Um, it, it fades down into like that white pepper, and and almost a, a little briny like sea salt kind of thing yeah, going on. Absolutely. Like that tangy quality to it. Um, that's a real nice glass. I, I actually like that quite that's a bit. Ex that's a really good analogy. The briny saltness is definitely there, but it's yep. not like over the top salt. But it's no, it's it's like when you eat, um, I don't know, like a, a 
like a caper or something, and and that flavor goes away, but that that tang is still well, left well, there. Hit the malt and hit the yep. pepper, and um, give me some honey to go with it. So, yeah, not bad. Not Forty six ABV. I bet it, you know. Well, actually, it's, it doesn't feel that strong, but definitely higher than forty three. You yeah. can taste that. I'm interested to see what the water does in a minute, but we're gonna go. Now this was fifty one. I think it's fifty one point two. Yeah, you're right. All right, so we're we're five percent ABV higher. Wow, and that's kind of interesting. They're very similar. Similar, but this one feels like it has. Or nose, maybe it's the, ABV. I, I was gonna say the original one to me smells stronger. Just a hint stronger. But they're both very similar. Hmm. Stronger, Yeah, obviously. You can definitely tell it's a higher ABV. Honestly, wow. flavor profile-wise, I mean, it's different because of the higher ABV. So I was obviously going to take that into consideration. Sure. But you can tell they're, they're brothers, right? Like, they, there's they're a very, very similar flavor profile. It, so far, not as briny as the, the normal one. No. And, but and, that could be the ABV pushing through. Yeah, not as I don't get as much spice on this one either. I mean, it's there, but it's not as prevalent as in the other kind one. Kind of a... A sour or tangy finish too a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm guessing that's a little bit of that brine, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out how that ABV is going to affect that flavor profile. And so far, I mean, it's it's quite similar. Now, because now on on the nose, now I get a little bit more of that honey now that I've had a sip of this. The, the fourteen, the the fourteen. I'll just call it the fourteen. It's definitely got. It's opened up a little bit more now. It's a little bit sweeter than the Game of Thrones. Now, I will say, you, you saw when we started the video, we pre-poured these a little bit. Not a whole long. Like maybe, a couple maybe, minutes. Maybe five minutes, maybe. Yeah. So they probably need to open up a little bit more. So, But so far, this one's opening up a little bit more than the 14 for sweet. This one, not so much. But we got some water to add still. Yes, we do. But I, I'll tell you what, though. They're definitely brothers. So All far, right. I prefer the 14 on the nose. I, I do too. I think it's got a little bit more full body on the nose, and it, it's it's a little bit more honey, and there's just a little bit more stuff going on in that in that glass. Whereas the Game of Thrones one, I mean, and it's good. I think the higher ABV, I mean, it, it does change the whiskey a little bit, right? Um, For sure. But I think that I, I'm interested to try a little bit of water on these guys and see how this all pans out. Because I'm wondering when you water down this Game of Thrones series if you're going to end up with the 14, essentially. I may have too much water in the first one. Let's see what happens. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the Game of Thrones to start with because I just want to kind of bring it down a little bit and see if we're getting close to the, pro the profile of the 14. Um... So far, I mean, if you gave me 65 bucks and told me I can only have one, I, I'm really not, not sure which miss one I'd pick. But you're not going to miss out so far. No. There's nothing, like, completely different. Like I said earlier with the log bowl, and that's a, well, that's a different taste mm -hmm. completely. This one, you're not going to be like, wow, that Game of Thrones is so much better. So far, right. I mean, it's not, like, a big difference. I mean, it's hotter. Um, the 14 seems to be a little sweeter right now. Maybe a little more malty on the, on the Game of Thrones, but... Just going at it right now. Well, it's more I, orange. I'll tell you what. Those. Now that I put a little bit of water, and I didn't, I didn't put enough to bring it down to probably forty six. Mm. You're probably talking high forties, right? Forty eight, something like that, in the ballpark at least. Mm. It, I get a lot more of that honey. Mm -hmm. I don't get honey the home. Yeah, but I don't get the spice. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm missing in the Game of Thrones that the, the brine other one has. The brine is back. Um, so it's got some of the elements that the 14 has, but it's not quite the same. Yeah. So I'm going to say Younger Scotch. Yeah, maybe. You know what I mean? Um, or, or maybe just a little bit different casking. Um, the 14. They might have used, uh, do they use uh, European oak on the, I bet they do. 
I would almost guarantee it. Um, man, I'll tell you what, it's a tough call though, because they're they're both tasty glasses. I mean, for sixty five bucks, I'm not mad at either one of them, honestly. I'm telling you right now, that fourteen and the the fifth the uh, fifteen the Game of Thrones gives you a little bit more play. Obviously, it gets higher ABV. Yeah. I mean, even. Even what I'm about to say doesn't make a difference because they're they're both very similar. But I will say, the 14 seems to be a little bit more sweet. Um, the, the water added a little bit more uh, fruit on the nose to me wow. than than the Game of Thrones. That changed the nose quite a bit. It did. Um, but the palate orange awesome. feel. I did. Yeah. 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 Wow. A little bit of lemon zest too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I. This is worth every penny of sixty-five dollars. Uh, I'll tell you what. At the end of the day, I don't think you can go wrong. If you see this one on the shelf and it's it's list price, if you can find it for sixty-five bucks, I think it's definitely worth picking up. It's a good bottle. Which one? The the, the, the Game of Thrones. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you can find it at list price, I wouldn't pay anything stupid. Like you can, I mean, if you go online, every liquor store and their mom is selling them for like two hundred bucks a bottle. No, it's it's they dumb. Can. But if you can find this somewhere at a reputable liquor store that's selling it for what they should be selling it for, I think it's definitely worth tasting. You know, I, I like the higher ABV. I'm glad they bottled it at a higher ABV. I think that's intriguing. I miss the spicy notes from the 14, but honestly, that's about all you're mm-hmm. changing in it. I mean, it's a very similar flavor profile. If you can't find this and you just want to see kind of what it tastes like, this may be this may edge out. The Game of Thrones, honestly. I, I think you can't lose with a 14. If, no. I guess it really boils down to a couple things. Are you a fan of Game of Thrones? If you are a collector, then you know what? And, and, and on top of that, if you're a big fan of Clang Leash, yeah. that's, I mean, that's another thing, too. Is yeah. It's got the higher ABV than the 14, so that's definitely different. Yeah. Um, and but, it does have a little different flavor profile. It does. I, I, will, uh, I will admit. Is it worth... Spending an extra hundred dollars on the bottle? No, no, it is not. Uh, but like I said, if you can find it at the liquor store and it's the normal, like what you should yeah. pay for it, I think it's I think it's worth pulling the trigger. Yeah. On. So this one, if you want to try Klein Leash and you're thinking, wow, I'd like to have that Game of Thrones, get the 14. You're very close, really yeah. close, because it's it's there. It's everyday shelf. Yep. Whereas this one, hard to find. Fair collector. Grab it, especially if you can get it for the right price. If you want, if you want to pay 150 bucks for it, that's on you. But taste-wise, you're gonna get pretty much most of it right here for 14. I think. Yeah. I, so I'll tell you what, the, the spicy note. Man, it's, it it's is. Good. I'm actually going to 14 really to finish good. up. Which which one are you gonna finish with? Um. You know what? That's a tough call. It really is. Um. I enjoyed them both. So. I'm just going to close my eyes and grab one, and we'll go for it. How about that? All right. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. We'll see you guys next time.